Hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Expedition Rome. Okay, so this is where I last left off. Um, you can see that... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think um, you can touch anything here, so it doesn't look like doesn't look like I can touch anything here um, so I did say that I would uh, do the do this um, you can see that there's this they gave us this a crown so I don't know if you can check the stats or anything but I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on my guy and um, Maximum resistance 14%, armor cap 3, armor 62. All resistance stats are doubled. So yeah. Yeah, so that looks kind of cool, huh? Now as far as anything else goes, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, so okay, all right, so so she um, has a skill. Yeah, it'd take me a long time to figure out what I would want to give each person. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip that. But um, okay. So I said I was gonna do this. So let's go to skills, and she's got one point. I gave her the health. Oh, it's either I could give her this or I could give her one movement reduction from weight. Yeah, 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 maybe I'll Maybe I'll do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this here for him. Now he has that and that. Um, could give him that, or I could. I could do another one here and max that out. Sometimes I give them lighter armor anyways, so they can walk a little further. Oh, and then him. Okay, so that, he's got that. And this guy, I'm going to go ahead and put the critical on him. And, and this guy got a promotion. Okay, so we'll do that for now. Yeah, so I don't know what else to do, so um, I don't know if we talk to anybody. Uh, let, should I? 
I have wanted to come to Rome for so long. I am almost nervous now. I have wanted to come here. It's a splendid sight. I'm sure you'll love it. There's no place like Rome in the whole world. That is what everyone says. Now I get to see it for myself. I'll let you know if I agree. You are happy to be home? Mediterranean. Oh, okay. They will be quite happy to see you again, I bet. I have no place to stay, of course. I can stay in your home, maybe. Just for now. Okay, yeah, okay, so, oh, okay, so, um, of course you can. My family villa is in need of a dependable security. I'll be happy to let you stay in my villa for as long as you wish. That is generous. Thank you. I will try to find a place for myself, but it is good to know there is no rush. We will see. Maybe I will hate it. Then I will have to go and find some place else to be. But I think I will want to stay. If I can find place to live. You might draw a lot of attention in Rome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to push it. Okay, so now I can't talk to her anymore. We didn't get our guy, but we won the war. I'd celebrate that. All right. I do wish we had more against the uh, brothers. It'll work out. Your case is strong enough. Not really. I like it better out there. Shift. Um. Oh no. Did you come up with this incisive analysis all by yourself? <laughs> it's just. In there, I have to be someone else. Out here, I'm just Julius Calidus. I like being Julius Calidus. Never mind. I don't know if I should say you look a bit weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go talk to him then. What is it, Legate? It is an action that bothers me. Idleness corrodes the warrior's mind. That is an excellent idea. No wonder you are the Legatus. You are a capable commander. Mercy is your weakness. Your enemies exist as long as they survive. I see. can't think of any situation like you mentioned. There was, but not in Rome. I had a sister once, although sometimes I question my own sanity. Okay. Did she truly exist, or did I merely dream of her? Aristocles teaches us that one may never truly know. <laughs> we live <laughs> chained inside a cave, staring at the shadows on a wall. Uh... None can chain Bestia Tabat anymore. I will find out where my sister is. We were both sold as children. 
She fetched a higher price than I, for she was better in every way than I was. I do not know what became of her. Fortuna is a cruel goddess. That is why I do not depend on her. Ah, some events are out of your control, Bestia. No matter how hard you try, Fortuna may meddle in your business. Okay, so this is like saying goodbye to everybody? Welcome home, Domine. More than happy. Although it was nice to be back in my homeland once again, I find it quite impossible to not miss Rome. All I need now is a change of clothes and a day trip to the library. Of course, I shall try to keep up with you as always. To see your mother. I'm sure she is anxious to know we've arrived. Mm, that is a wise decision indeed. I shall temper my concern. Few can claim to be your superior in matters of combat. You have proven yourself beyond the shadow of any doubt. Think of the living first. The dead can wait. Legate? I always get this weird feeling when I'm back, like I've left something of mine behind out there. Now there's a thought. That masseuse from Letetia, I wonder if she's still around. Brilliant idea, Legate. All things considered, I don't think we can complain. The war is won, and we are still alive. You know what? For once, I'll do nothing. Nothing at all. all right. And it will be glorious. You are in too much of a hurry. Don't let life pass you by. We have both earned the right to have some fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right, I think that's about all that I could talk to. I don't know if I answered the right way, or all of them, or any of them, but I guess I'm supposed to go this way now. This is all new to me, so... Oh, way Lucullus and his victorious legion, welcome home. Shall we, Wheatus? It is good to be home again. I'm looking forward to a nice bath and a flask of good Carthaginian wine. Maybe two. May I humbly recommend Weepsanius Marcellus' new batch? People say it's heavenly. Ah, your recommendations never fail to impress. Do address the Legatus, though. This victory was of his doing more than mine. My apologies, Legate. I neither know nor recognize you. Okay. Nonsense. It is high praise from the Consul. Now, let us conclude our business. The Consul seems to attribute the success of this campaign to you, Legate. Thus, it is your duty to formally disband the Legion and relinquish your weapons. Beyond this river lies oh. the Pomerium, and not even a victorious Imperator can cross it bearing arms. Ah! Oh. All that I worked for is all gonna be gone? What? I do understand. We will, of course, obey the rules. Mm. Our laws are what separates us from animals. You have given up your command, but you have retained your virtue. You can always get your command back when Rome needs you again. Ah, you overstate my influence. It is easy to make a sharp sword out of good steel. The river Rubicon marks the sacred line where you stop being a warrior. It is time you learn how you may conquer a more civilized battleground. We shall meet at my villa in two nights. There are people I want you to meet prior to the Senate hearing. We must get your villa back somehow. Do not worry about your favorite gladius. 
Your war gear will be kept safely in my summer villa outside the city. Great. Glad to hear it. I hope you are hungry, Domine. Lucullus is known for his lavish feasts. Do not eat anything until I've tasted it first. I wouldn't put it past the Witellius brothers to poison this entire party just to get you and Lucullus. Okay. I am sure Dominus Lucullus has a reason and a plan. I would play along. My personal mission tonight is to taste each and every single dish. <laughs> you may have to roll me home. <laughs> I see that Tullius Cicero and Porcius Cato are both here tonight. They are highly esteemed senators of the Optimatis faction. The very same. He is an orator of unmatched skill. He was trained in Greece, you know. <sighs> to what end? A blade would not help against poison. May Fortuna smile on you, Domine. I'll be here if you need me. Right oh. on time. Just like a proper legatus. Welcome, son. After this long and arduous campaign, a feast is all you need. <laughs> well, you know Marcus and Lucius Thermus. He's still thankful for your timely assistance and the saving of his life. You probably remember Marcus Aurelius Cotter as well. He seems to have brought his siblings, Lucius and Aurelia Cotter. The gentleman in the corner is Marcus Tullius Cicero. Making his acquaintance should prove to be very useful for you. I plan for him to become your advocate tomorrow. Last but not least, I've also invited Marcus Porcius Cato, who may or may not represent you as well. You see why it was important for you to be here. I think not. Just be your charming self and try to win them over. And please relax. You have defeated an army of rebel pirates. This is a simple dinner party. <laughs> of course I am. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. We should, and we are. This is our preparation. The guests in this party were not randomly chosen. <laughs> our success largely depends on your conduct tonight. Be sure to join us at the table before you leave. I'd like to introduce you to Cato myself. And smile. <laughs> and do not walk like you have just swallowed a measuring pole. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is a whole different thing of what I'm used to in the game. Oh, uh, so we just got this one room and stuff like that. Alright folks, so I, that's a lot of talking and a lot of stuff and stuff, so I think this is a total, uh, like, different setting from, from war and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to save this for some other time. So we're just going to end it right here and we'll pick this party up later on. It's a lot, it's a lot to take in of... You know the conversations with the, uh, my 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 god or whatever and 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 like I said and then this is a whole different menu so I I, I want a little bit of time to think about how I'm going to approach this which you probably think it's no big deal but anyways uh, so I'm going to keep it short so no matter where you are in the world I hope you have a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening please take care of yourself be kind to others God bless to you and your own religion it's your friend Jeff signing out adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas